Hello and welcome to Your Choice 2024 primary election coverage on Home TV. I'm your host, Denisha McDowell. Joining me for this candidate interview is Angela Demas, Democratic candidate for Marine Township Clerk. Angela, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Denise. Of course. At this time, if you may briefly introduce yourself to the viewing audience. Yes. So my name is Angela Demas. I'm running as a Democratic candidate for Meridian Township Clerk. I'm running as a pro-democracy, pro-choice Democratic candidate. I care about protecting our democracy and protecting the right to vote. Thank you so much. Each Meridian Township Clerk candidate will be asked a standard list of questions. Starting with question number one. Please explain how your education and professional background make you an ideal candidate for Meridian Township Clerk. Yeah, well, I'm a long-term Meridian Township resident. I grew up here with my mom, my dad, and my brother. Moved here when I was 10. And I care very much about investing in our community, and I care deeply about my family. I've seen the ways that Meridian Township has changed and grown over the years. I went to Okemos Public Schools and I graduated from Okemos High School in 2020. From there, I attended Michigan State University and I graduated with honors early in 2023. From there, I was the press secretary for Curtis Hertel's congressional campaign, where I led the communications team and gave out roles and responsibilities on projects that I worked to create. Yeah, and right now I'm an election specialist for Delhi Township's clerk office for Clerk Evan Hope. And right now we are gathering election inspectors um, and preparing for the upcoming August and November elections. Yeah, I've worked for dedicated Democratic Michigan leaders such as Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Senator Curtis Hertel, who has endorsed my campaign, Representative Kara Hope and Representative Julie Brixey, who have also endorsed my campaign. And I've also worked on get out the vote uh, and voter registration drives for the past three elections. Thank you. What are the essential functions of the clerk's office and specifically the responsibilities of the township clerk? Please address any improvements you would like to make. Mm -hmm. So the township clerk has a lot of responsibilities and one of the most important responsibilities is administering our elections, making sure that our voter registration records are maintained and registering people to vote, which is extremely important for our democracy. You know, another thing that the clerk's office handles is maintaining township records, including cemetery records. And of course, the township clerk would serve as a voting member on the township board. In 2022, Proposal 2 was passed by Michigan voters. This proposal brought numerous changes to elections in Michigan and the ways people can vote. How familiar are you with these changes in election law, and how do you plan to ensure Meridian Township is in compliance with these new laws? Mm -hmm. Well, already in Delhi Township, as an election specialist, we're already implementing these new voting laws. Uh, with early voting, we have nine days of early voting, and so just making sure that the election process is run smoothly and efficiently, and providing all this information to people who are living in Delhi Township. Um, you know, we've had a lot of different election uh, changes and voting laws that have changed over the years, and it's so important for the township clerk to provide helpful and accurate information about these changes so that people can understand, you know, their voting rights. Can you share a personal story or experience that highlights your commitment to public service? Mm -hmm. Well, in 2023, there was the MSU shooting, and I was minutes away from Berkey Hall, where the shooting took place. Um, you know, I didn't know if my friends, my classmates, my teachers, if they were okay, even days after the shooting. And it was, it was a very hard time for people in our community, people here in Meridian Township who are impacted by the MSU shooting as well. And so it was so important for us to come together as a community. And, you know, I wanted to take the time to stand up for what's right and to advocate for gun safety, which is why a week later, I decided to give a speech at the Capitol for a March for Our Lives protest and talk with lawmakers, some of which listen to our stories and got things done, such as Representative Julie Brixey. And I think that is so important. And 
No, I, I always wanted to run for office, get involved in public service, but I think now I have a lot to bring to the community to help advocate and help people in our community. And so, you know, I, as Meridian Township Clerk, I would have the power to help people each and every day. And that's why I decided to run. How would you prioritize the use of township general fund? When thinking about adopting future budgets, what do you hope to see incorporated? Mm -hmm. Well, I favor a fiscally prudent approach. Um, our first priority should be the health and well-being of our residents here in Meridian Township. And, you know, that means improving the quality of life for people, investing in our community, investing in our emergency services, and maintaining our beautiful parks and trails so that, you know, people here in Meridian Township can be safe and thrive. What steps do you think the township should take to enhance diversity, equity, and inclusion within the workforce to effectively represent the diverse makeup of the community? Well, I'm someone that believes representation absolutely matters. And I think it matters that I'm a young gay woman who's running for this position. You know, I think that we need to, uh, I think that we need to bring a new perspective to the board and reflect the diversity that we see here in our community. And I have a long track record of implementing inclusive policies as a representative for the MSU student government, where we worked with communities all across the board, communities that we see here in Meridian Township. And I think it's so important to work well with one another to benefit people in the community. How do you plan to foster positive employee relations? Can you please provide a specific example? Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that leadership begins with listening. And that's why as your Meridian Township clerk, the first thing I would do is listen to people in the clerk's office and people in our community and see with employees like what, what we can do to improve the clerk's office, what we can do to listen to people. I believe in an open door policy and I, and I wanna make sure that people feel comfortable raising concerns and sharing what they believe needs to be improved so that we can help people in our community and we can improve the election process in Meridian Township. How will you utilize transparency to create an effective and trusting community for Meridian Township employees and the residents of the township? Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that transparency absolutely matters. We need to have more transparency, especially in the election process. Um, you know, I think that one of my uh, sorry, one of my proposals that I would like to implement is having democracy classes so that people in our community in Meridian Township can have all the information they need about the election process, everything to do with our elections, so that people can be informed. And I think that fights against disinformation if we provide that education for people, that free and accessible education, so that people can understand, you know, here is the helpful and accurate information about our elections. We've had a lot of changes over the past few years, uh, especially with the new changes from 2018, 2022, like with early voting. And it's so important to make sure that people understand what's happening, what's happening in our elections and, you know, so that they can make a educated plan to vote and so that we can provide that information to people. What do you consider to be the top two challenges facing Meridian Township? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, growing up here in Meridian Township, I've seen the ways in which our township has grown and has changed. And I'm going door to door each and every day to talk to people in the community and hear about the issues that they care about. I believe our economic development is something people here care about deeply. You know, making sure that, you know, we have we have our local businesses who are thriving, increasing, increasing housing, and just making sure that people here can benefit from everything that the township provides, as well as maintaining that and balancing it with our green space, you know, with our beautiful parks and trails, uh, making sure that people have access to more green space here. And that's something that our neighboring communities don't have as much of. And that's one of the main reasons why people 
live here in Meridian Township is because of our parks and our beautiful trails. Um, and yeah, another thing is public safety, making sure that we increase, that we prioritize public safety, especially for our budget, um, and making sure that our emergency services are, are there to help people, um, continuing helping people in Meridian Township. What goals would you like to see the township accomplish in the next five years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, my goal in five years is for Meridian Township to have the best run elections in Ingham County. And so that goes into my plan to help improve Meridian Township's elections. You know, uh, what I will do on day one is review the election process with staff to look for ways that we can improve elections in the clerk's office, like administering elections and, and seeing what we can do to help people in the community. Um, the next thing I've talked about previously is democracy classes, holding monthly democracy classes for people to understand more about the election process, to answer people's questions, especially after they vote, what happens afterwards, and providing that helpful information for people. And then lastly, going to our local uh, high schools and pre-registering and registering eligible voters so that people can you know, get involved in the election process early. Yeah, and going from there, you know, within five years, my goal would be that our police and fire departments are fully staffed and uh, just making sure that public safety is a priority because that's so important in Meridian Township. Thank you so much. <laughs> With a few minutes remaining, we would like you to provide a closing statement to our viewing audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I want to say that I may be young, but I believe in the timeless values of hard work and pride in our community that I see each and every day. In Meridian Township, as your Meridian Township clerk, I promise to work each and every day to ensure that we have free, fair, and safe elections. I will protect our poll workers who have been subjected to threats. I will fight against local election disinformation and I will increase transparency in the election process. As your township clerk, I will ensure that elections are run efficiently, and I will make sure voters have all the information they need about registering to vote, in-person early voting, no reason absentee voting, and more. The people that you trust, trust me. And that's why I'm so proud that I've gotten the endorsements of our dedicated Democratic leaders, including AM County Clerk Barb Byram, former Senator Curtis Hertel, our state Senator Sam Singh, Senator Paul Voino, Representative Julie Brixey, Representative Kara Hope, and the Delhi Township Clerk, Evan Hope. Yeah, and, but most importantly, I wanna earn your trust. That's why I'm going door to door, talking to people in the community, talking about my plans to protect our democracy and listening to your ideas, because listening, because leadership begins with listening. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Angela. Thank you. And thank you for watching this candidate interview with Angela Dimas, Democratic candidate for Meridian Township Clerk. I'm your host, Anisha McDowell. Thank you for watching.